Hi guys, had the grandchildren over, uh, so the table was in a bit more of a mess than it would normally be. They've been playing with all the radio controlled cars. But what I plan to do now that they've gone home is have a look at this tablet. It used to be my granddaughter's. Um, she gave it to me a long time ago and I've just noticed it's sort of open and the reason it's sort of open is the battery is rather puffy. It was 40 anyway, which is why she'd given it to me. But, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is take the battery off and just put a couple of leads on there, one of my normal JST leads for the LiPo batteries, run the lead outside somewhere so we can plug an external battery in, see if we can get it going. There are a few other problems with it that I remember because I have mended it in the past. The USB connector had come loose, had come off the board and I had to re-solder it. But I can see just there there should be a little push switch, momentary switch on the edge there and it's dropped right inside. It should be like those two but it's been pushed off the board and gone right in we might be able to salvage it no idea but I'll put my phone as I'm using at the moment using my Galaxy uh, what is it? oh Samsung Galaxy A51 that's what I'm using to film at the moment to try it out so I'll put that on a tripod and then we'll have a look at getting this battery off. Right, looking at this, not in t oh, I know what that is, that's the aerial. I was going to say, I didn't know what that was, but that's the aerial. That is the camera. So we should be able to get them off okay. So they're clear. And this has got a bit of sticky on the back of it. Obviously we don't want to stab through the battery while we're trying to clear the sticky tape off it. I don't think you need to watch me do this. I'll work on that, get it off, and then we'll have a look. Right, it came off reasonably e easily. And we can see 3.7 volts, 3,000 milliamp hours, 2,012. Yeah, okay. What happens here with these bits? Are they stuck in? Right, so we got a couple of solder tags there that I can solder onto. Like I said, I'm just going to put one of my 
normal JST leads on there for now. So we can connect up a power supply and see if anything works. Before I get carried away with soldering a power supply onto it, I will just take the board out and have a look at the other side of it, see if we can do anything with that uh, momentary switch that was pushed inside. So I've got a couple of screws here. My granddaughter was actually here today. She did tell me what this one was called, but I've promptly forgotten again. Yeah, this is where we have a problem. It's actually pulled the surface of the track up as well. Right, so I've soldered that back in place. That one was loose as well and it also doesn't click. That one does. That one doesn't. That says volume on it. Volume plus. So we might have a problem with that. If we turn it back over. Uh, how can we do this? Like that. Just want to get that out from under there if I can. Obviously I could just desolder it anyway, couldn't I? Why am I, why am I struggling? How oh, silly. Never mind. Right. So. Positive and negative. Okay. Might need to trim them a little bit. They're a bit big. In fact, I might use a different lead because that's rather a nice one. That's a nice soft silicon on it. Right. One of my JST connectors. Got rather a lot of these. Oh, better have it the right way round, otherwise. That won't be very good. Well, I was right the first time. What happened there? Positive there. Okay. So we can fit an external power supply. Just before I dispose of this, I'm just feeling through the packaging here and it does feel like there is a circuit board there, the um, protection circuit, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it does feel like there's something tucked in there. I don't think we want the ends to touch together, even though I think this is probably completely flat. Right, we'll just try it with a battery obviously this isn't a 3000 milliamp hour it's 650 so shove that in there right which one's going to be the on off This one. Oh ho! Can we see that? The light's probably. It's 
firing up. Just drop the camera down a little bit. see anything on that screen there we go Friday the 2nd of January eh No. Oh, gosh. Tuesday the 28th of July. It's obviously picked up the time somehow. How has it done that? How on earth has it done that? Tuesday, July the 28th, 6.53. That's the right time. Ah, is it now waiting for a... a sign-in code? Oh dear. I bet that's what that was. It was waiting for a sign-in code. Pin number is what I'm trying to think of. Uh, something is causing it to receive digits, isn't it? Right, switch it off again. Is that switching off? I can't switch it off. Done it. Okay, well I'll, I'll screw that board back in place. So I think there's a bit of a problem there with it possibly. I don't know. Something was making it uh, trigger the keypad. But I'll put this back in and then we'll have another look. Well, we've moved forwards a bit. When I first fired it up, not that you can see the screen, um, in fact I'll do it again. The um, Something was pressing the keypad automatically, we were getting loads of numbers appear up here, and I couldn't press any buttons. So, all I've done is reseated these two ribbon cables um, these little bits pull out to release it and push it back in again try and get it in there properly this time <laughs> All right we're fully home no, we're not, because that one's pushed in. That's better. Right, fully home. Then push those two tags down. And that locks it firmly in place. Did the same for that one. And now when I switch it on, we don't get repeating numbers appearing up here. I can actually press some numbers. The only problem now is I've no idea what my granddaughter's pin number was. 
I have been able to figure out um, why it's got the date and time right. Because at some time or other, when she was younger, she must have been here and signed on to our Wi-Fi. So it's actually logged on to our Wi-Fi straight away with no problem. So that's what set the date and time right. But I've now got to call her because she doesn't live here and see if she's got any idea what her secret PIN number was. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.